wanna dance, tick the clock, the time has come. Are you ready? Cause I'm about to make the scream and shout. While I turn the party out, bust the move. Okay, we're looking now at the arterial supply to the colon. And first we're going to look at the ascending colon and we're going to look at some of the branches of the uh, superior mesenteric artery. And uh, we're going to think about what happens when some of these arteries are blocked, some of the uh, branches are blocked. So let's take a look at this. Of course we can see the, the cecum, the end of the ileum, the cecum, the ascending and the transverse and the descending down to the sigmoid colon and then to the rectum. So first we notice this large structure here and we know that this is the aorta and then coming off the aorta here um, on the uh, on the right side uh, we can notice these uh, these arteries that are coming off and that are uh, connecting with this transverse colon. So let's think about a question what happens when you have ischemia, ischemia of the right colic artery? What would happen? So first let's find the right colic artery. Well here it is, the right colic artery. And you can imagine if there was ischemia of the right colic artery, this would affect what part? It would affect, of course, the ascending colon. And after we're going to talk about what happens on the other side, but let's look first at the aorta and what comes off it. So we can see um, right here that, um, let's start actually down here. Um, this is the um, iliocolic artery, and then above that is the right colic artery, and here is the middle colic artery. Now there are other arteries around, but I want to focus on these so we can know what happens uh, when these are uh, when these are hit. So what happens when the arterial supply is ha happens here? Uh, well we have to know uh, where, this, where these are coming off. So we must know that these come off the superior mesenteric artery. So where is the superior mesenteric artery? Well this is the thickest part here, the superior mesenteric artery. And off that come the the middle colic artery and the right colic artery and the iliocolic artery but you can look there might be some problem down here so you have to know that this is connected to the superior mesenteric artery which is connected to the aorta um, so that's important to know okay so now we're going to look at something different uh, we're going to look at the descending and sigmoid colon so in order to do that we have to find uh, the branches uh, that come off of the inferior mesenteric artery. So first let's start by finding the inferior mesenteric artery. So if we follow that we can see this is the inferior mesenteric artery. Okay, it's coming off the aorta. So what comes off of it we can see the left colic artery and uh, we should also be uh, aware of uh, the sigmoid arteries which are down below here and remember these are all coming off the inferior mesenteric artery um, so uh, what happens when these are blocked well we have to look to see what the source is and uh, this will give us some idea of what to do so the important things to remember here from this slide here is uh, where it comes off the inferior mesenteric artery and also where the superior sigmoid artery is. Here is the superior sigmoid artery which comes off the inferior sigmoid artery and also the left colic artery which comes off of it. So you can try and uh, picture the orientation uh, and you can guess uh, which are the connecting arteries. And the same thing can be done uh, by thinking about what is happening over here with the jejunal arteries. So here are the ileal arteries, these are all intestinal arteries, and try to see you know what they are connected to, but if you look back you can see where they stem off of. And that is the take home message for this video.